Trump wants to designate Mexican drug cartels as terrorist organizations. Listen to what he said in an interview on Tuesday. I don't want to say what I'm going to do, but they will be designated. This I am going to be group. designating the cartel. Absolutely. I've been working on that for the last 90 days. You know, designation is not that easy. No, you I have know. to go through a process, and we're well into that process. What does Mexico say about all of this? Designating uh, drug cartels as terrorist organizations. What does it change? Matt Rivers is in Mexico City with the reaction there. And we're hearing from the president, Matt. Yeah, and, and I think it's safe to say, Hala, that Mexico's government, A, is not thrilled with this, uh, this statement from the president, and also B, frankly, they were, they were taken uh, off guard uh, by this. Uh, Mexico's foreign secretary uh, saying that he would be immediately requesting a meeting with the secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, uh, and that you know, the foreign ministry here is not thrilled about it. And also, as you mentioned, uh, in his daily press conference this morning, President Lopez Obrador of Mexico, uh, he didn't get into it all that much, but he was pretty clear in his point of view. Take a listen. Operación. I only need to say, cooperation, yes. Interventionism, no. No. So basically, let's, let's unpack this a little bit. Basically, when the United States designates groups as foreign terrorist organizations, it gives the United States government a legal groundwork to take stronger action, mainly uh, in the financial and diplomatic realms against uh, these groups. So for example, U.S. financial institutions would be barred from doing any sort of business with anyone related to a member of a group, a, a foreign terrorist organization. Members of the FTOs would not be allowed to enter the United States. And that would certainly have an impact on the Mexican-United States bilateral relationship. But Hala, I think what people here in Mexico and the government here would be worried about is does this provide any sort of justification for the United States to have unilateral military intervention here in a sovereign country? That's what President Lopez Obrador is talking about. No interventionism from the military. It was just earlier this month, nine Americans were killed as a part of what many suspect is cartel violence. Uh, the president offered to send military support here to Mexico, and the Mexican government denied that. So what their fear is now is that could the United States use this foreign terrorist organization label as a way to justify unilateral military intervention. The president has not said he will do that, not at all. We don't know the time frame on when this designation will come down, Hala, but it does appear, given what the president said, uh, that they will be labeling cartels here foreign terrorist organizations. Is that the biggest concern for Mexicans, uh, that the president of the United States is using this designation as a pretext to be able to use military force or conduct some sort of military intervention in Mexico? That's their biggest concern right now? That's definitely one of the biggest concerns. I mean, there's also, you know, economic concerns. You know, there's there's a concern that it could hurt the trading relationship between the United States and Mexico. But I think just from an existential level, I think if you're members of the Mexican government, you do not want members of the American military operating in your sovereign territory. What Mexican government officials would say is that that's a violation of Mexican sovereignty. What President Trump might say and what Americans might say is that what's going on here in Mexico with the drug trade, with uh, a human trafficking has a negative effect on the United States and the United States has to do something about it. President Trump thinks that maybe this is the way to go, but he's going to face stiff, stiff opposition uh, from the Mexican government.